Today, we say goodbye to a legend, uh, a good mate. They've been beside me for quite a few years. I've seen the birth of my children, I've seen many hours, many an hour with me on machine and in the sheep yards. And today, we farewell my old boots. The laces have been replaced, the zips don't really work, it's starting to break, it's holes in them. The, uh, Soles actually don't look too bad. I have stepped on some warm things in some places, but they're done. And we welcome the new Blundstone. They look pretty good, I reckon. They look nice and tough. Anyway, a bit higher ankles, so we'll like higher ankle support. So we'll see how they go. But I do like this rubber toe. That is very good. First lunchbox is packed. There we go. Ag leader with me all the way. What up farm? How you going? Today is a very exciting day in our world because it's the first day of wind rowing. We went over there for a look yesterday um, and we decided that it was just a little bit too green. So we left it an another day and um, today we're getting into it we're heading over there now I've got to pick up another hose from dad's place and um, yeah it's gonna be an interesting season all right we've made it to the front it's a bit windy today so I hope the sounds are right um, in the canola this year there's a lot of lodging that's happened or it's fallen over it looks really low there that's because it's fallen over um i'm just not sure how that's going to go it's definitely going to be a challenge but what i've got is um our crop lifters from our header they're just ones that the coast view cowboy made they just go um one of the bolts at, at the back there on the knife guard they slip over like that and you put the back bolt back through. They're mild steel, so rather than springing, they just bend out of the way. Um, so we're gonna put them on and see how they go. I asked Twitter and Twitter didn't really seem to have any answers for me, but there's a few people that were keen to see how it works. All right, we got them on. Be very, very interesting to see how they go, I reckon. Hope I haven't wasted my time. Hopefully it's a good thing. But anyway, it'll be alright. Alright, we're into it. We're actually a few hours into it today. Um, the crop lifters that I put on this morning worked really good for picking up the canola but as soon as you block the knife and backed up it uh the crop dividers just i don't know held on to it all blocked up i guess you call it um so i ended up taking them off it was a very very challenging first pass or first lap around um yeah but anyway it's going all right now that we're out in the middle You'll see out uh, here. Oh, we got a block there. This stuff here is pretty right. It's very right. But it's really hard to judge when the rest of the paddock's ready to go and stuff like this is probably further along than what you would want it. And there's other stuff that's greener than you would want it. Anyway, it's a challenging year. Very, very challenging. Um, yeah, anyway, it's all right, we're into it. We've made a start, we're closer to the finish. <laughs> all right, time to go home. That is the first day done. Um, 50 hectares is what I got to, only for half a day. 100 hectares is my target per day. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. It was pretty tough going, which I think it will be the whole year. Anyway, time to go home for a bit of a rest and 
get back into it tomorrow. Here we are, back for another day. Well, day two, you have not gone to plan. It's been a bit of a testing day. I've got about 45 hectares done and we've had 15 mils of rain. I think it's too wet, I'm gonna go home. It's been so testing, I didn't even get the GoPro out. <laughs> oh my God. Still raining too. That puddle wasn't there when I came through this morning. dealing with this year all of this canola is leaning down the hill this way to the east it's the way the prevailing wind goes or blows it um, this is not the part that I'm having trouble with but it is easier doing it straight across it this is the part that I'm really struggling with that is about five foot tall canola that is flat on the ground and it is hard work to windrow I tell you what I tried going across it and that didn't work the thing that seems to be working is a thousand short passes going up and back like this just making some lumpy lumpy rows and the spray is going out thicker than what it probably needs to just because I can't go fast enough but anyway we're getting through it and that's what matters First paddock's done. A few more to go. <laughs> um, yeah, we got through it. We've uh, kicked off day three with a, a good start. I'm starting to get the hang of this lodge stuff a bit, this fallen over stuff. Um, you've just got to do whatever you can to get it in. Whether that be a hundred short little passes on the edge of the paddock, it's just got to get into a row. So, yeah, that's my trick that I've found out. Here we go. Last pass of this paddock. Got her all done. You'll see that we're going at an angle. That's because the wheel tracks were causing us 
all sorts of issues in the last paddock. Going at an angle just helps us to go across them and just makes it feed through the front better and cut better, not block up as much. Um, yeah, it's going really well this paddock. Um, I'm getting a bit of a taste for what wind rowing was like last year, not all that lodge stuff. But that's all right, we're dealing with it all right in this paddock now. So anyway, finish this and top up with spray and fuel and head to the next paddock. Well, I thought it was unstoppable. I got onto a new paddock, going through standing water and all sorts. And I am bogged. It's actually shame on me because, whoa, nearly slipped over. The other contractor got bogged over there. Shouldn't have gone in it. So I came back to Annie with the shovel and had a bit of a dink dig to try and make a ramp for it to get out. Um, got the topsoil off and started bringing up sand and, oh, it is wet down there. Look at that. Yummy. Anyway, it didn't look wet. The crop was not affected. It still looked pretty good. What we reckon's happened is this body of water is leaking down under this bank and that's where it's gone. <sighs> Luke's going to get some chains. The tractor's already here. But the last fella got pulled out with a couple of snatch straps. Um, that wouldn't be enough for this. But anyway, day three, bog one. Thought I might have been able to have a go getting out. No, I cannot. Um, it's just soupy under there. Anything I do will just get me more bogged. I'm going to make the wise decision to just wait for Luke to come back with the chains. a bit boggy let's have another go before the tractor leaves see where we can get feel like this probably shows what we're up against there's the canola there's the nitro that's the rest of the canola it's about this high that canola about knee height It's a challenge, all right. All right, I think that's enough of day three. We battled away for 17 hectares in that paddock after we got bogged. It's just tough going. Gonna hook onto the fuel trailer now and um, we'll go home and fill that up. Don't know if you can see that. That's a nice big quad track parked next to me bit envious of that. Day three, here we go. No, not day three. Day three was yesterday. Let me try that again. Day four, here we go. <laughs> oh, I didn't spend a lot of time in bed last night, but anyway, that's all right. We're back going again now. There's rain coming in today, so I yeah, don't know how long we'll get to go for, but anyway, heading back there. Well, day four, I think it is, day four, we pulled out of the other paddock that was very badly lodged, 
just couldn't get through it. They're going to direct head that. So we came to this paddock here, which is uh, looking really good, apart from the fact that I'm bogged. I uh, tried to get myself out, which was probably a mistake, and bogged even further. Tried to call the people that I'm working for, couldn't get them. So I'm going to go on foot and um, start walking back to the tractor. Not sure if you can tell, but that's a fairly large windrow of canola. And that's a fairly tall crop of canola over there. Before this year, I'd never been bogged in the nitro. Now, I'm up to three times. All right, day four. The evening or afternoon 10 to 7 it is um, started this new paddock where I got bogged 21 hectares and that is for the headlands or almost all the headlands I just got to make it from there back there but it's raining a lot have a look at this that's all the lightning that's coming we'll see if the radar will load yes that's us that blue dot that's there that's there and there's a lot around us a lot coming i think that'll be it for day four see how much rain we get and come back on day five tomorrow well i was waiting for the rain to stop so i could make it to my ute i've been here for about i don't know 15 minutes but i'm just going to make a dash for it because it doesn't appear to be stopping all right, YouTube, today is day eight, I think. Yeah, eight, just over a week. Um, it's been a few days since I updated you because I haven't done much or any wind rowing, really. Um, on Sunday, which would have been day uh, five, I think, six, I don't know. We had a heap of rain over where we were, where we were getting bogged. Um, so we decided to move back from there, back to Dad's place, onto the sandier dirt, so that we could keep moving. Uh, no sooner got back and set up and started that I could hear a funny noise coming from the front left wheel. Um, so we turned the machine off right where it was, um, drain the bung out the bottom of the wheel motor and lo and behold out of the wheel motor came oil that had a lot of metal filings in it a lot of shavings a lot of shrapnel um, so yes it's a, a busted wheel motor um, I don't know what's going on in there but it's not working I've been instructed, do not start the machine, do not move the machine. Um, yeah, it's just, it's no good at the moment. Um, a new wheel motor is coming from Western Australia on a truck. I don't know when it will get here. Soon, hopefully. But yeah, it'll be a decent sized bill when it comes. And I think most of the wind rowing's finished now. Um, or not finished. By the time it gets fixed, I think it'll be too far gone. But it is what it is. That's the joys of owning machinery, I guess. Right now, I'm heading over. I've got the little uh, push mower on the back. I'm going to mow down all the canola stalks around it. I've got um, a wire brush and I haven't got the sockets yet but I'll go and get them and we will crack all the loose, all the wheel nuts so that they're all loose and a bit easier for when the mechanics come but yes, definitely not how I envisage the season going uh, but yeah, it is what it is and just got to roll with the punches I guess.
That looks a bit work better for working on. Um, this is the thing that's broken. I'm not working properly. Popped out that bung, and that's where the glittery oil came out from. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is just try and clean up all these threads a bit. I'll just take, I'm gonna take my crop divider mount off. I'll take the mud guard off. Just get it all out of the way for them. So that when they come, and it's time to go, it's all as easy as it can be, hopefully. Right, we got a nice little patch mode. Mud guard's not off, but it's all unbolted. So it's all clear around there. I couldn't get to any of them, I'll just let them do it. it I put some oil on there though. So, oh yeah, and um, I loosened, I broke, loosened all these off. So they should come out. Yeah, anyway. Hopefully it's not too hard for them when they get out of here. Whenever that might be. Alright, it's day, I don't know, fair few. <laughs> I've lost count. Um, the nitro is still not fixed. Hopefully today, because today's Friday, hopefully today it's fixed or Monday. But anyway, I'm not sure how much wind rowing will be left after it's fixed, but anyway, we're out here, Chelsea is driving the ute and we're getting some sheep in the yards. We're gonna put a product called Click on them that'll stop them getting fly blown because we're starting to have a few problems with that. Anyway, she's doing a good job. <laughs> and Alex is eating shapes. Oops. Right, it's day 13 of the wind rowing season. Um, yeah. We got the boat on. <laughs> Still waiting on the parts. It's uh, been a very, 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 very long process. Um, not much I can do. Not much the dealership can do, I guess. It's just taking a long time to get here. And why did we have the boat out, you ask? Well, it's because we needed to clear the shed. Oh, we got the header out. We're going to take this down to my place and um, put it in the hay shed. We will be shearing lambs on Monday, hopefully. It's been really hard to get dry sheep this year. Um, so what we're going to do is put some temporary panels across the front of the shed so we can put some dry sheep in here because it's supposed to rain over the weekend just so that we can shear as many sheep as we can while the shearers are here. So, yeah, that's what's going on. We're gonna go for a bit of a drive in the header. It's a bit rough down the road, but that doesn't really matter. Cruising along. Uh, we let some mice get in the cabin again this year. It's always nice to provide a friendly home to some stray animals. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll have to try and clean the cab out. See if we can get it smelling a little bit better, but unlikely to. What up farm? Day 14 and we're back. Not back on the nitro yet. We're on the tractor. We've got the motorbike on the back. We're heading to the nitro because the wheel motor's come in and today it's getting fixed up. There she is. Poor old thing.
So we got the wheel off. I'm just taking out the carrier bolts or the bolts that hold it off on around the edge. Um, or most of them, just until the mechanics get here and um, they can do the rest. This is all just to make it go a bit faster when they get here. Alex is also chilling over there in the ute. You gonna wave to the camera? No. So after nine days of waiting, we're finally back into it. I've just been home to have some tea because I was really hungry after um, changing that wheel motor over. I didn't do much filming, um, just got in and helped out where I could, but it's going and that's what matters. Oh, it feels good to be back. It feels very good. Smashing along through this paddock, through all the wetness. This is a very wet part just here. It's a lot wetter this paddock than what I thought it was going to be. But that's all right. We haven't been bogged. We've made it through pretty easy, actually. All right. We got finished, Dad's canola back at his place. Um, moved up here to my place and got started up here. And it's going really well. The crop looks good. I'm, I'm quite impressed with how it's grown. We didn't spread any urea on it um, and lost a decent amount of yield there, but still looks good. Um, because I was broken down and lost nine days out of the season, it's a bit more matured than what I would like. And there's a red rise through the middle of the paddock and over the other side. It's just all shattering out too much, I think. Um, so we've just pulled up, pulled the pin for today, and I'll come back early, early morning and... Um, finish it off once the dew comes in um yeah hopefully a bit more holds in the pods and we don't lose quite so much onto the ground morning guys it's day uh 17 i think it's friday um friday the what is it the 25th of november um it's currently 10 past 2 in the morning and we've just started up. Um, it was getting a bit hot yesterday, a bit crunchy up on this red ground. I just wasn't so happy with how much we we're losing. So I pulled up and decided to come back when the dew had come in 
and there's a light dew come in at the moment. I don't know if it'll get much heavier. But anyway, there's some moisture there. And we're into it. We've got about 25 hectares to go in here. Should be pretty plain sailing, hopefully. Might be some wet patches. But uh, other than that, it's a nice standing crop. Um, this is our own canola, so we'll be back here to harvest it in 10 days or so. All things going well. We'll have to wait and see what the weather does. Anyway, it's going pretty good. It's three o'clock. I'm not sure whether you call it a late tea after a bit of a nap or an early breakfast, but I'm into some roast pork here. It's, uh, it's delicious actually. Morning guys. Day 17 today, yesterday morning I finished off our canola, that was day 16, then I moved to another place, had a go, it was too lodged though, I couldn't get through it, so I pulled out, went to another paddock, which is the one just behind me, which was, went really well, it was lodged but that was, it was running the right way, so I could pick it up easy, um, yeah finish that did a little bit in here last night and I'm back out here this morning we've got 10 hectares or a bit over 10 hectares to go and then I'll be finished on this job and I'll move to the last paddock of canola for the year I think I think it's the last paddock anyway this might be the final day of canola wind run hopefully anyway We'll see. Best way to do it is to just 
do it any way you can, I think. I found turning going against the way it's launched to be the best way in this stuff because it's so low on the ground. Other stuff has been better coming against it the opposite way it's lodged. I haven't found any success going across it, so I wouldn't worry about trying that. satisfying to see those rows as you're driving off especially at this hour of night job done we got it all finished um, yeah the lodge stuff was a pain but we got there in the end how do you enjoy that tree shadowing right over my face <laughs> it's done it's done Saturday night, and it's time to go home. Ready, ready to knock off. <laughs>